all right we are back with the arsenal career mode so today we start season three and there are going to be some tough decisions to make in this one we are coming off a season where we won the premier league but we were knocked out by psg in the semi-finals of the champions league literally an inch away from making the final so i don't think we need a complete overhaul of this team but we do need to make some changes to revitalize the team in season three and it's gonna be tough because we might have to sell some very big players in this team so of course drop a like in the video if you guys are excited for season three and as usual if you guys hit 1500 likes on this video you guys guys we'll get episode two of season three tomorrow for sure 1000 percent you guys hit that for season one and season two so let's see if we can do it again for season three and i think we're about to hit 62,000 subs like we are growing rapidly right now so once again i appreciate it so much hit the sub button down below because we're on the road to 100,000 subs okay first comment with nkunku and his low stamina you might want to make sure he's not coming back and helping the defense yeah his defensive instructions were on balanced i think where sometimes he's hit forward sometimes he come back but for this season we're gonna put him on stay forward because yeah we need to try and preserve that stamina as much as we can can. and if we do look at his stamina it's now 77 so plus two since joining us i mean it's something and next one i feel like thomas Partey has really settled into that cdm spot and also scoring goals so i don't feel we need to sell him also a suggestion to sign tailemans again yeah i mean it, i think uh it was a tough decision but i think we've made our decision regarding Partey and kamara the plan is as of now the plan is to keep Thomas Partey for season three and it's unfortunate but I think we are going to sell Kamara I think the fact that he's joined Aston Villa in real life it kind of just makes sense plus he's 89 rated like if we get an offer from PSG Real Madrid Barcelona I could see him going to one of those teams I'm not going to sell him to Man City or probably Liverpool I'll probably sell him to any other team than that so it's not set in stone but that's roughly the plan and last comment I recommend a Nottingham Forest career mode yeah not gonna lie I'll be down for a Nottingham Forest uh either series or rebuild video I feel like that might be better suited towards a rebuild video because I want to do more of those like the barcelona one we just did and i feel like i've never really done like a rebo video where we start with the team in the championship so that's uh, that's not a bad idea also really quick yeah i did forget to do the season two awards so we're gonna do that right now really quick so first award best young player so saka won this in season one um honorable mention frederick rowe played 30 games as a 19 year old and honestly he was pretty good in those games the english the next possibly the next english virgil van dyke but the award this year is going to go to it's got to be saka again i mean he won this last year and he improved upon his stats this year 48 games played 25 goals that is that is a breakout season that we wanted for him so saka gets the best young player of season two now best new transfer honestly there's not a lot of candidates for this one but as a sign in january he was decent he gets a he gets a small honorable mention but it was only ever going to be one player and that is christopher and Kunku best new transfer 150 million dollars I think 17 goals 14 assists you would like those numbers to be a little bit higher but honestly for a first season that's not bad I think one season of adjusting to the Premier League season three hopefully a breakout season for him but literally him and Eze were the only candidates so this one was uh, pretty straightforward now player of this season for season two season one it was won by Gabriel Jesus. Once again, Martin Odegaard gets an honorable mention being the captain of this team. The leader, 18 goals and 17 assists is pretty good. If he would have hit the 2020 mark in goals and assists, he might have won it. But he gets a very big honorable mention. Also, Saka does too. But come on, come on. It, it can only be one player. Gabriel Jesus once again wins player of the season for season two. 38 goals, 15 assists. You just, you can't really argue with that. He joined highest scorer in the Prem alongside with Sadio Mane. He has been so good in the series. I expected him to be good, but maybe not this good so that is a second player of the year award for gabriel jesus okay so we actually haven't fully entered uh season three yet you're currently in june so we still have to advance to the next season um i'm not sure why i have a 57 manager rating i kind of feel disrespected but we have an offer for renato sanchez and it's from psg um we are gonna try to loan out nezovic our cdm we found in serbia now renato sanchez is a player that's interesting because we have gundawan signing on from pre-contract so he's joining us in season three and I'm pretty sure we're keeping Partey. So Partey goes to CDM. We probably sell Kamara. And then in that center mid spot, we're going to have Gundogan and Renato Sanchez. My thinking going into the season was if we get an offer for Renato Sanchez from a big team, we have to entertain it. Because honestly, he's he's been good. He hasn't been like insane, like the best player I've ever used. And he's probably not going to start in season three where at psg he might actually start so i think for that reason we have to entertain this like i said we got big plans for season three but it also means we kind of have to let a few players go maybe um i'm gonna need like a hundred and i'm gonna say just flat out 100 million if they give me 100 million for nato sanchez i will do that he will be possibly going to the team that beat us but he probably would start for them to be honest he'll be like a wynaldum replacement and they just flat out accept a hundred million euros or actually pounds for renato sanchez oh i don't know how i feel about that that's a lot of money i think it's realistic though i didn't really have plans to start him and i mean he's 86 rated he's had now two good years with us but uh i mean maybe he likes the french game 
maybe he's going to PSG. And there it is, Renato Sanchez sold to PSG for 100 million. Don't worry, we got some big plans, don't worry. It probably won't come as a surprise to you that we're not entirely satisfied with the team re team's results this season. What are you talking about? Doesn't even matter, we are officially entering season three. Okay, so Luka Jovic back to Real Madrid. We did have a 30 million buy clause on him, but honestly, he didn't impress that much, so I don't really want to bring him back. He's back to Real Madrid. Gundogan has joined us, which is good. And also Renato Sanchez leaves for PSG. So Ilkay Gundogan has joined up. Um, Apparently he's number 21 for Germany, so he'll take the number 21 shirt. Now, how fast is he decreasing? No, he's actually not decreasing as of now. So that's good. So he is basically Renato Sanchez's replacement in a way. So we have a lot of players back from loan. So we got to take inventory of the squad really quick. I think we're gonna try to loan out Van de Voort again. And then Matt Turner back up. And then Runnerson, just another third choice keeper. Um, Tierney Tavares, happy with that. Saliba, 1,000% staying. Can't really say the same about Gabriel, but Benjamin White is for sure on the transfer list. I think Saliba Gabriel have just outgrown him so much that it makes him, it shows that he's not actually, I don't think he's that good in this game. So he is most likely sold. Frederick Rowe, of course, staying. Now, right back spot is interesting. Tomiyasu, starting right back. He's not going anywhere. Um, Aaron Higgy's back from his loan spell. He's 79 rated. I didn't think he was that good in season one. He's got 89 acceleration and uh, 77 speed speed is actually not that quick i feel like it almost makes sense for us to buy a right back that's really quick to contrast with tomiyasu so for that reason i think we might try loaning out hickey again and then ainsley made niles i've liked him i really like him in this game but i think his time here is done so mayla niles transfer listed um parte staying kamara transfer listed patino loaned out again hopefully sammy lakonga we might keep him or we might sell him i just don't really know how much game time i can uh promise him which that'll make sense in a little bit i think as a staying smith Rowe staying odegaard staying the uh next Thierry Henry is up to a 74 maybe another loan for him i'm not sure if he's that good enough to be in this team um and kunku staying my wake staying and look at this guy the next dennis bear camp we loaned him out in january last season i think he was a 71 or 72 he has grown all the way up to an 82 overall that's like plus 10 in like three or four months and i mean he's got decent pace not insane insanely quick but 92 dribbling and actually 96 dribbling and 95 ball control that's pretty insane so he might stay and get some game time i don't know and then saka martinelli jay seuss all staying um and ketia we loaned him out he actually didn't grow that much i think we're gonna try to sell in ketia i was hoping he'd grow more out alone but he, he didn't really grow that much so he's probably sold so that is pretty much four like decently sized players they're all we're gonna attempt to sell now the budget for season three um it, it's pretty nice 272.3 million is our budget oh yeah that's pretty nice that's a decent amount we got players to sell too, which would increase that. Okay, so the reason we sold Ronaldo Sanchez pretty easily was because Gundogan was joining, and we also have our eyes on another player, and that is finally Yori Tillemans. I think with Partey going to CDM, Renato Sanchez gone, Gundogan on the bench, it is the perfect time to bring in Tillemans to Arsenal. Now, it's going to be expensive, but honestly, it, it looks like it's going to happen in real life, and he's been a target now for two seasons, so I think it's time. I'm kind of hoping we don't have to spend that much. Like, 84 million would be nice, although it's probably going to be more than that. Okay, they want Smith Rowe. I'm not giving you Smith throw holy 121 are you serious okay relax relax napoli it's basically what we sold around to sanchez for so 104.5 man they want a lot for him you know we got to do it he's probably gonna be the marquee signing of the season so we have to do it man they are not budging though i'm not having any negotiating luck here 115 million just accept please thank you napoli that is 150 million, 115 for Tillemans. It's uh, still not our record breaking signing because of course Nkunku was 150 million, but I think it's just the perfect time to bring Tillemans into this team. And Tillemans has signed up 115,000 a week. Honestly, not that much, but we have our new star midfielder. So there it is. Arsenal fans might be seeing that in real life at some point very soon, unless I just jinxed it, which which hopefully not. Well, the man is going to be very good for us. So Gundogan is going to be back up coming off the bench and Tillemans joins Thomas Partey in that midfield to form a new partnership. Okay, Bruce. See a Dortmund want Maitland Niles. That seems like a good offer, honestly. 18.5. I'll just accept that. Probably a decent move for him. So Maitland Niles has been sold to Percy Dortmund. Now Chelsea want Kamara. We haven't got an offer yet. So Chelsea is the first team to come in for him. Man, we can get 165 million for him. If we if we send him to Chelsea for that much, I think I would do that. I just don't want to send him to Man City. Like I would rather send him to like a Real Madrid, Barcelona. But if it's Chelsea, it's gotta be, it's gotta be 170 million. There's no way they accept that, right? Yeah, okay. I would rather send him to to a team outside of England. So they just they just uh, say no to that. Um, Sporting one in Ketia, honestly, might just get a little bit more, but we're gonna sell in Ketia. I know he decided to do in real life, but I think this point in season three, he's just he's just not really good enough for this team. So 20 million in Ketia is probably sold. Okay, apparently not, because he doesn't want to go to Portugal, I guess. But offer for Camara from Atletico Madrid, and they're offering Jimenez in a swap deal. I mean, that's actually pretty interesting, but I think I'm just gonna ask for cash. Um, Like 130 million would probably be good enough, I think. I would probably send 
send him to Atletico Madrid for that. So 130 million. What do they say to that? They're offering Paul Pogba in a swap deal. Um, I don't want Pogba. 125. Just accept it. And they do. Okay, 125 million for Kamara. He might be going to Atletico Madrid. I mean, that's that's a lot of money for him. He is insanely good, but I think uh, it's it's the, it's for the best. And there it is. Kamara has been sold to Atletico Madrid. I mean, hey, we, our budget is like replenished in two seconds. So that kind of does mean we need a backup CDM. We need a backup, uh, maybe another winger or striker, maybe. And also probably a right back. And we still have to sell uh, Ben White, too. Now, one thing I'm thinking about doing is uh, what if we actually swapped Aaron Hickey with Tarek Lamptey from Brighton? Because I feel like Lamptey is literally the opposite type of player than Tomiyasu. He's an attacking fullback who's very small and very quick. I feel like almost he'd be better than Hickey. And I mean, I feel like what's the point of loaning out Hickey when we could just probably just settle this uh, right back spot? And I feel like 12 million plus Hickey, that's not a bad deal. 17. Okay, well this this is this is possible. I think it just kind of makes sense. So 16 million plus Hickey. And I think Terry Lamptey is going to be our new backup uh, backup right back. The man's got like 90 pace. So he's literally ex the exact opposite of Tomiyasu. And for 85,000 a week, Terry Lamptey is signed up. So I was never really was never really impressed with uh, Aaron Hickey too much. So Lamptey is here. He's going to take the number 22 shirt. And then I'm going to give Saliba the number four and take that off Ben White because he'll probably be sold still. So Gundogan, Lamptey, and Tillemans so far the new signings. So we do need to back up CDM, although I feel like Frederick Rowe could probably play there. He's a minus three at CDM, which is kind of weird. I feel like his stats aren't that bad, but he could play there. Or we could buy a new CDM to be the backup. I, we have a few players in mind we could. And then we have Cornelison. One thing I was thinking about we could do possibly is move Martinelli back to left wing. Move him back to be a winger, then sign like a taller striker to be a backup to Jay Seuss. Kind of like Lamptey, just to offer for something different or just not a player who's more naturally a striker compared to Martinelli that's uh, that's something we could do which I'm probably gonna need you guys help on what you think we should do but we already got the community shield we're facing Brentford the team that always beats us so this is a decent curtain raiser for the season so in terms of sliders we turned player based difficulty back on I still don't really know if it makes the game harder or not I really don't know I don't really notice the difference so we might as well keep it on and then for this to make it a little bit harder I think we can move this to one maybe I can try one pass error literally I don't really want to lower shot error because then just every shot's gonna be flying to the net I don't want to raise their goalkeeper ability because then they're just they already save so many shots and i think first touch at 25 is is a decent spot for it to be in so we're gonna try pass her on one and that might be what we use for this season that already sounds pretty insane we're gonna try it in this game though so facing the team that always seems to beat us for some reason and debuts for tillemans and terry lamptey in this game as well there he is there is the new star midfielder i'm hoping turns out to be very good i don't remember the last time i've used him in fifa i don't think i've signed him this year i don't think i have so we're gonna see how this man plays first game community shield we should win this, but they're Brentford and they always beat us, so I actually don't know. Also, first game for uh, Partey to be really deep in that CDM role again. Also, let's see if the game, let's see how the one pass error works. I feel like it might be a bit ridiculous, but we're going to try it. Okay, and Kunku plays a good ball to Jesus, and Jesus is going to wait for friends. Wait for friends, and that pass was a little bit too strong. Tierney to Jesus, Jesus with room to shoot, and that was a that was a pretty good shot from Jesus. So this season's gonna be all about going for the Champions League, probably going for the Carabao Cup too. I feel like we haven't won the Carabao Cup. I don't think we have, right? Or did we? I know we won. No, we didn't. Right? We won the FA Cup in season one. So, I mean, the Carabao Cup is a trophy we've not won yet. So, of course, that trying to defend our Premier League title. And more importantly, going for the Champions League. Made it to the semis last year. It would be nice if we could win that. And that is pretty much the main goal, I think. Okay, Tillemans plays a beautiful ball to Saka. Far post, we got Jay Seuss. Jay Seuss actually climbed for that, but it's a good defensive play. And Kunku, I want him to have a breakout season so badly. But that is into Tillemans. Oh, we had a chance to score on his debut. That's going to go out to Thomas Partey. Part oh, Thomas Part. Okay, someone's injured. But uh, Thomas Partey's going to run and celebrate because he just scored a banger. I'm kind of worried about the injury, not going to lie, but that was a good shot. This is why I'm so glad we're keeping him. I feel like he's the one He's the one mainstay in this team. He's got a lot of experience, and like he he can do that. Like The man is so good. For a first goal of the season, that's a that's a pretty-looking first goal of the season. Oh, Saka has to be taken off, though. Okay. Saka forced off in the Community Shield. That's that's not that's not good. Um, we're gonna give it, give a chance to Dennis Bearcamp, his regen, Cornelison. But that's that's never good. The injuries where they need to be taken off, they're always big injuries. So that is actually not good at all. That can literally impact our season so much if that's a bad injury. So we'll have to wait and see. But uh, that is uh, that is not good. And that has kind of made me a little sad about this game. But Nkunku just literally scraped the netting with that shot. Bro, I hope he's not injured badly. I hope. I'm actually terrified now. Jesus to Nkunku. Nkunku with a little bit of space. That is into Cornelison. The next Dennis Bearcamp scores. 
guy has grown plus 10 in half a season. I don't think I've ever seen that before. And he does score. The man might get some game time this season. It was a tap in, but you know what? He's still, he still scored. And that's all that matters. Eric Lamptey. Man, Lamptey is like rapid quick. And the man's only 5'4". So he's literally a little pace merchant. And I love it. It offers us something so much different at that right back spot compared to Tomiyasu. Look at the man. He's just rapid quick. Gelemans. Okay, that was a bad ball. Okay. Now Lamptey is injured. Oh, I'm about to scream. What is happening? What is happening right now? That is two players having to be wheeled off the field. Like, bro, what? Okay, I guess Tomiyasu comes on. Can you imagine we get two? Oh, we kind of just got, he just got kind of destroyed. Yeah, I'd, I'd be injured too. If we have two big injuries like that, that is going to be insane. Man, Brentford have turned into our rivals in this series. I just don't like Brentford. You know what? For that, we're going to embarrass them. We are going to embarrass them. And Kunku to Jesus, Jesus, and that's 3-0. I guess if they can't beat us, they're just going to destroy us, basically, through violence. Okay, they might score one, but that's a good save by Ramsdale. That's a very good save, and he does a second save. Now, our injury sliders are on 65 frequency and, and 25 severity. We did up those. What I used to play on even, I used to play on 75 frequency, and I still never got injuries. So I don't think it's the sliders. That's just two freak injuries in a game like this where they both got destroyed physically. And I am just hoping and praying that they are not bad injuries and i'm hoping for no more you know what tillemans let's just shoot and end this first half that is that first time cross from uh dennis barricam it's actually a handball i mean i'll take it gonna be a pass to tomiyasu no it's not because oscar heel just steps forward okay second half begins in the locker room right now we just had a little prayer circle where everyone got in a huddle and we pray that uh that lamptey and saka's mri results are not bad and we also pray that brentford do not hurt any more of my players we also play we also prayed about that tillemans man tillemans has played some very good passes in this game and cornelison Plays it through to Nkunku. This should be four. It should be four. And it's going to be four. Nkunku off the mark. Well, wow, Brentford have been crap this game. They've been they've been just simply crap. I don't really notice the one pass error, but this just might be one of those games in FIFA. It might be one of them where you just win. Like, where they just they just did not show up to play. And honestly, we have a good team, too. So that's probably probably a small factor in it. Hey, okay, Jesus, just don't get injured. He's just running through. And I, I literally had so much space that I occupy too much of it. I am sick to my stomach. Look at all this space. Why are Brentford playing like this? It's so weird. Nkunku, drive in a little bit. Beautiful. Oh, how do we not get that to Jesus? Okay, we got to save some players here so they don't get injured. So Martinelli on, Madueke on, and also Smith Rose on. Oh, that's the clean sheet. Nope, Ramsdale makes a great save. Man, I honestly thought we'd have to replace Ramsdale in this series, but he's 88 rated. I don't think we'll have to. The man is actually amazing in this game. That is another, that's another save by Ramsdale. He's just stat padding at this point. Cornelis in, through to Martinelli. Martinelli, where's the pace? Okay, there's not much pace there, but we're going to go to Tomiyasu. Tomiyasu is going to feed Martinelli. There's the turn for Martinelli. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, the finish left so much to, to uh, desire there. I'm still unsure if we should keep Martinelli as a backup striker or move him back to a winger. I'm honestly not sure. Because that would mean we'd have to sign a new backup striker. Can we get one more goal. It'd be nice. Tillemans. Okay, where is the space? Where's Thomas Partey? He, the man could shoot. I really like Thomas Partey's shots. But that's going to be into Martinelli. Martinelli is going to make it five. Okay, it's good to see him scoring. I just still don't know if he should be a striker or a winger. But 5-0. That is a thumping. And that is also game. So, I mean, good debuts for, good debut for Tillemans. But I'm just worried about Saka. I'm also worried about Tarek Lamptey. So, Thomas Partey gets to lift the community shield. It's a very large trophy. I remember saying that last season. But I'm just worried about Saka and Lamptey. So, we got to find out about this. Okay, so there's only one player injured message. So, apparently, one of those two um, were not injured, I think. Oh, no. They're both injured. Oh, it's just how long are they injured for? Oh, I'm just scared. I'm scared to even look. I'm scared. First one is going to be Saka. Okay, four weeks with a concussion. That's not bad. Oh, that could have been so much worse. Saka's four weeks and Lamptey. Tarek Lamptey's out with an ACL injury for seven months. Okay, so my plan about Lamptey and uh, Aaron Hickey... That literally just got destroyed. Lamptey is going to be out until February. Like, we need a backup right back now. Oh, that's that's so bad. But honestly, if I got to be honest, I'm glad it's him and not Saka with a big injury. Saka, four weeks, we can deal with that. Man, we need, a, we need a right back now. I don't think that right back is going to be Ben White, though. And I don't really want Diego Carlos either. So I would just like cash. Can you give me just cash for Ben White, please? 43 million. Okay, that's a lot. I thought I'd have to get less, but 43 million Ben White might be on his way to Sevilla. And Ben White has been actually sold to Sevilla, so that's good. Okay, Van Voort, I'm not trying to sell him. We're trying to loan him out, Crystal Palace. Get with the program. Um, Everton won a Ketia. That sounds actually pretty realistic, so I am just going to accept that. And PSG now come in for Gabriel. So he's one player who I kind of thought we would keep, but I mean, we could sell him. I think the one center back I want to keep for sure is Saliba. Because I do think Saliba is better than Gabriel. But if we wanted to sign like a new starting center back, I think we'd have to sell Gabriel. 
Gabriel. And I'm not sure if we should do that or not. I'm honestly not sure. Okay, now Real Madrid are uh, coming in for Gabriel. Oh man, what do we do? Like it's Real Madrid though. Like Arsenal and Real Madrid, that's a pretty big step up. Like who would we replace him with though? Like we got Tamori, Joe Gomez, Upamakano as options. Oh man, that's tough. That is extremely tough. So Enketia sold to Everton. I think this Gabriel deal is just too big of a deal for me to decide right now. So we will decide on this in the next episode. You guys gotta let me know what you think about it. Like, should we sell Gabriel and replace him with a new starting center back? As you can see, we have a lot of money. We could basically afford anyone. Like 334 million is a lot, but we are gonna play the first game of the season. That is against Leeds United. So curtain raiser for the Prem season. Of okay, we gotta replace Sack. I forgot. Um, I think Matawake starts in his absence. Tavares comes up and then Cornelison comes up. And also with Gabriel's impending, maybe transfer, I'm gonna start Frederick Rowe in this game. He played well against uh, against Brentford. So he's going to start the Premier League season for us. So Premier League title defense starts now against uh, Leeds United. I want to see the gold little badge on our jersey. Okay, we're wearing track suits. I want to see the gold little badge though. So Leeds United, I mean, we'll, we'll see if the one pass error, if we see it in this game, I didn't really see it in the last game. We'll see though. The only other thing we could try, we could try is competitor mode on. Okay, tell me also what was that? We could try competitor mode on, but the last time we tried that, it it got very annoying because I feel like the CPU, it, I, don't, I don't know how much it actually changes them. It just makes them do skill moves every two seconds. So I don't know how I feel about that. It's something we could try though. But first game of the season, we will see what we could do. Odegaard, okay. And Kuku, are you on side? I think he's on side. It doesn't matter. His shot's gonna be blocked though. Okay, that's a good ball. That is a very good ball to Tyler Roberts. The shot though is terrible. I think last season we won the Premier League on a very low points total. So if like the Man Cities, the Liverpools, they play better this season, it's gonna be a much closer title race, I think. Because they all underachieved by a lot. So. That is something to take account of. And why would you go with your left foot? If it was right footage finesse shot, it'd be a goal. You know what? We'll send this corner in. Why not? We haven't done this in a while. And that is actually like a good corner, but uh, Melier comes all the way out for it. Okay, that's a very good pass. Ramsdale, though, is an absolute god. I don't know how he just saved that. The man is a legend. The scoreboard is still glitched. Oh, Tillemans, that's a good steal. Man, Tillemans, he's had a pretty good uh, first few impressions. I don't know if he's going to score as many goals for our team. But Jesus is, and that's 1-0. No. And that attack, that attack is just too deadly. Even without Saka, our movement in this formation is just so good. And that's a good ball. I feel like their passing is a bit better, not gonna lie. So I'm kind of noticing it a little bit, but Tomiyasu is still too strong. They're not playing too bad, though. They're playing much better than Brentford, at least. But once again, our attack is just looking too deadly. Oh, Jesus, how do we not get that to uh, Metaweke, though? Oh, Thomas Partey is just so good. Man, we make so many tackles that lead to counterattacks just like this. And Nkunku has got the pace. He should have the pace. Okay, maybe not all the pace. Cuts inside, though. And Odegaard gets in the way. It doesn't matter, though. Gabriel Jesus and also Nkunku are on the score sheet. The first game of the Premier League season. I really want Nkunku to have, like, a 25-plus goal season. And first game, he's got one, which is good. Okay, that, that was a bit embarrassing. Oh, Saliba just gets in the right way, though. Yeah, we kind of just ran into our own player. That is kind of embarrassing, not going to lie. Odegaard, what a good ball to Matawake. Matawake lifts it up for Jesus. Jesus gets it to Odegaard. Oh, I wanted to finish that off so badly. Yeah, I mean, so far, the Premier League champions not looking too bad in their first uh, game in their title defense. Odegaard from distance. That's off ahead. But it's in a fall to Matawake, and he's going to get a cross in to Jesus. Jesus header. And it's going to be Nkunku with a tap in. Oh my. That was hilarious. That was two deflections that led to that. And uh, Nkunku has two in this game. Man, we are we are just bossing this game right now. We might have to try competitive mode on. We might have to try that in the next episode and see if we notice a, uh, a decent difference. Okay, okay, okay. That was pretty good passing, but still, they're shooting. That shot, it was Holgate though, a center back, so that's probably why. Tillemans to Odegaard. Jesus through to Tillemans on his Premier League debut for Arsenal. It's a good shot, but it's a good save. And Nkunku is on a hat trick, so we're going to turn. And we're going to turn the Jets a little bit. And we're going to finesse this into the net. No, we're not. Frederick Rowe shot. Okay, Frederick Rowe doesn't quite have the have the shot. That is a good ball. But Ramsdale is literally just a god. I don't know how many saves he's made. Man, it's absolutely amazing. But okay, subs on. Eze's on. Um, Gundogan is on for his Arsenal debut, which he just uh, got beat there by Simeone. And also Nuno Tavares is on at left back. So uh, let's see how Gundogan plays. I did feel like Gundogan is a realistic feeling signing for the Arsenal, I think. Okay, that's a good little pass, and that's going to be to Jesus. We're going to wait for Eze, who was just brought on. Been a shot, and Eze, oh, get another chance. Okay, he just fell, and we did not score that. That is a very good ball. Is Ramsdale going to make another save? Okay, Saliba just blocks that. Man, Saliba is a beast. We haven't really missed Gabriel in this game because uh, Roe and Saliba have actually done very well at the back. Okay, Eze, what, what do you got this time? What do you got? Drives in. Okay, Eze just got it. That was a foul, yeah. Um, 30 yards out. You know what? I'm shooting this. Why not, you know, Odegaard? Little, little shot. 
Okay, it was on target at least, but it wasn't. It wasn't that good. Yeah, I mean, Leeds, honestly, haven't been terrible this game. It's just, uh, I think the Premier League champions just a little bit too much for them to handle. Okay, Madueke, do no Tavares, get that to Eze. That did not work. But Tavares is going to whip this one in. That's actually a beautiful cross. Why would it not give me Jesus, though? That makes, uh, doesn't make a lot of sense. But all right, first game, 3 0. Actually, pretty comfortable. That is a good way to start our Premier League title defense. Okay, I need you guys help in the comments. What do we do with Gabriel? Do we sell him to Real Madrid? Um, we need a center back and a right back to replace Lamptey for this season for most of it. I think it'd be nice or it'd be, it'd be smart to sign a center back that can play right back because that would take care of the Ben White replacement and also the backup right back replacement for the beginning of the season, at least the first half. So a center back, they can play right back. A uh, We still need a CDM probably. Should we make Martinelli a winger and buy a backup striker? We got a lot of things we need to decide upon. So I need you guys help in the comments for sure. And next episode, we will make some more big decisions for this team. I think Telemans is going to be really good for us though. So leave in the comments what you think we should do drop a like on the video if you guys are excited for season three and like i said 1500 likes on this video you guys will get episode two of season three tomorrow for sure 1000 percent and of course hit the sub button we're on the road to 100,000 subs and we are growing rapidly right now but that is it i will see you guys in the next video hope you have a great day